wait, say nice things. He's coming now. Oh, okay. yeah. No, I'm just I love no, Coach. I love, yeah. <laughs> Co Coach, we were flashing back to 2021. We yep. saw you guys winning the ACC Absolutely. championship, and we were reliving that. And um, I know I know last year was a little different for you. What, what do you see from this team so far this year? Well, what I would say is, well, one, thanks for having me. Thanks for being here, everybody. Um, hey, thanks for being here. I mean, we've been waiting on you. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. Yes. Hey, hey, you know, last He's year when I man. last year when I was speaking, everyone wanted to ask about Coach K. This right. year, everyone's asking me about Coach Shire. You know, like, so, so I'm like, I'm like, okay, enough Duke now. Let's forget talk about that. Georgia what we were Jack. asking is, where's Coach yeah, Pastor? There you go. There you go. Um, but um, uh, anyway, um, no, I, I like our team. Look, there's two things. Our team to be successful, the star of our team's got to be the team. Like, like, we might not have that one individual. It's got to be the team. The star of the team's got to be the team. Secondly, the issue with the league, which is a good thing for everybody, for us it's not great, is that, heck, you got a lot of guys who should have left the league. They should be out, <laughs> but they came back because of COVID and the NIL. We might be playing some teams that you, on the roster, they could have seven figures total <laughs> money financially, and it's like playing a pro team, and it's legal. You know, it's like, I mean, so that's what you're saying, whoa, you know. And you know what, though, Coach, a year ago is the exact opposite. I mean, yeah. we, we were having the conversation about, man, where is the star power? Yeah. It just seemed like there was a mass defection, and I thought the league felt that early when we started talking about 4-16 and 16 against ranked non-conference opponents, and then everybody got better as the year went on. You kept talking about, hey, North Carolina's a Final Four team when nobody was paying any attention no, to you. Lo and behold, they're playing yeah. for a national team. They're 20 minutes away from cutting down the nets. But this year does feel, on paper, before we get started, with all the experience back, it does feel like the old ACC again. The, the, this league is really deep. They've got really good players. Now, look, you might think I'm crazy when I say this. I don't ever say that anymore. Okay, good. <laughs> I think Carolina should be preseason number one in the in, in the national polls. Uh -huh. But I think Virginia should be picked number one in the ACC polls. I think Virginia is the will, will win, has a as good a shot, if not the best shot, to win the ACC Five championship. Five starters back. I think they're report, not enough people are talking about on them. Shoulder. They're really really good. I, Carolina still should be preseason one and has a legit shot of winning the whole thing. But you can you, has it ever happened where you can pick the team number one in the preseason national polls and somebody else pick the ACC as because I really think Virginia should be preseason pick one in the I think they're really good. But I, that's part of the depth of the league this year is where I'm talking like about Carolina. But you've also got I mean, look at that record. You see, that's a terrible record. Can I, <laughs> I just throw up on the on the counter here? You know what I mean? Twelve and twenty. We got to be better than that this year. You know, we got to win some games. But the league is good. You know so what good. should be on there? Can it they erase be, that you know record? Should off? be on there. It should be only one team has won an ACC championship since this guy. There you go. That's, that's what should be on there. That's a good. That's a good header. <laughs> you know, there, there we Pat. go. Um, Coach, while you're telling us about how good the league is, I always love your late season takes that you give us on how many teams are going to get. Yes. Can we can we just go ahead right now? Yep. Get we, it out of the way. Go right now, and and I and and again, last year I was wrong. I said there would be ten, and we only ended up we, we lucky we got five. We almost got three. Right. But 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 um, I really do think this year we're, we have a real shot of getting double digit teams in the yeah. league. Because if you think about it, Kia Clark from Virginia should be gone. Leshevsky and Dane Goodwin from Notre Dame should be gone. Mutt from Virginia Tech should be gone. Any normal year, Baycott and those guys would have left, gone. you know, yeah. they, but they, they're, they're back. But you I know mean, what, though, Coach? For guys like you, it's like the worst nightmare because you got to go play them. But for everybody I, else I, in this panel and absolutely. everybody watching at home, absolutely. Like, hey, this is great <laughs> because we've got so many good players. And that's the, the thing. And so I think the league is really deep. And and um, and I just think it's going to be such where you're going to have real depth. You're going to have early on, you know, where you win a lot of games in the non-conference. And I think the league will be talked about at a high level early, which will hopefully get us more chances for teams to get in the NCAA tournament. And that's the objective now because, look, for everyone's for job security and everything else, you've got to get to the tournament. I mean, we all know that. And that's why I keep saying in the league meetings, hey, guys, what do we need to do to get more teams in the league? I've said play 28 league games. I've said play round robin. People said you were crazy. And I, yes, and I said, hey, you guys, but I said the other way is not getting us more teams in the tournament. How do we get, what's the solution to get more teams in the tournament? Because otherwise there's going to be a revolving door in the coaches circle thing. So I'm saying let's play 28 league games. Will that help us get more teams in the NCAA tournament? And I'm just looking more solution-based. Solution 
Okay, so there you go. I love it. And I there's love 14 it. other coaches in the league going, what's he talking yeah, exactly. about? That's exactly right. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about your team, Coach. And, and, you know, I know you lost some key pieces, but the guys you have coming back have some great experience, too. To have leaders like you do with Rodney and with Kyle and some of the others, what does that do for what you're trying to build after, you know, that, that – stat that we yeah. saw that you don't like anymore. No, I don't like it all. Year. No, no, um, we have a good team. I like our group. You know, Kelsey, we, we've um, been able to, you know, the, the, the unfortunate part last year is we had to play a lot of young guys mm -hmm. for the amount of minutes that we had to play in, in, in during the course of the season. Um, and it doesn't bode well in the ACC to play a bunch of just freshmen and young guys. Um, and, and we lost a lot of close games that, you know, we didn't, we didn't, do good enough in those in those close games to, to be able to finish and, and and that cost us now the good news is those guys got a lot of experience and opportunities that should pay off for this year and we have spent so much time on time and score situations like you know we all work on time and score I mean everybody does that in their practices but I mean we've done it like times 20 because because you know the, a lot of these games come down between four and six points and it can make or break a season and for us last year like I said if you look at that record it was not a good record well, you know, all of a sudden you win a couple of those close games and things are changing like that, and it's such a fine line, and that's why you've You're got to be... You're finding that out with Georgia Tech football in the last two weeks. Well, I mean, things are... I mean, things... It's, it's a fine line. I mean, they win the game versus Pitt and Duke at the literally a, a, a missed field goal here by the other team and a missed pass here. I mean, it's just... Everything's such a fine line, and that's in basketball. Yeah. I mean, you guys know. You guys played at the highest level. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a shot here, and it's not only just the last shot of the game. It's like... It's the, the possession so important with 15 minutes to go in the first half is just mm -hmm. as important because when you're talking about a four point or six point difference, man, everything is so magnified and it can change your entire season, right. you know, for that one game. Right, right. Coach, uh, you talk about Rodney Howard. You said that he could be potentially the most improved player in the ACC. What, make, what makes you say that? Yeah, you know, here's what I think on Rodney Howard. I think for us to be successful, I think Rodney Howard needs to be in discussion for most improved player in the league. Uh, you know, whether he gets it or not, that's going to be to be determined. But he needs to have a good year. Like, our bigs need to be good this upcoming season. And he needs to be really – he doesn't have to go score 20, 25, but he's got to be a really good just enforcer, rim runner, defensive guy, rebounder, not turn it over. Um, and, and, and at the end of the year, you guys all need to be talking about, he, hey, is he a potential most improved player type of candidate? And if he is that, then we're going to have a good year. If he's not that, you know, there could be some struggles with us. And so we need Roddy to be good for us. Going back to the days with the mask, I'm not saying you should bring it back. No, yeah. <laughs> but those were some good days for yeah. Georgia Tech. You've lost two really key pieces off those last two years' yeah. teams. Who are the guys that have to step up? And, and you said they don't have to be the go-to guy necessarily. Right. The team is going to be the strength. But who are the guys that you're going to have to rely on? Hey, you got to put the ball in the basket yeah. more. You know, we really rely last year like DeVoe, Michael DeVoe, to really score for us. And, 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 that, and, and, you know, it was tough on him because teams would just load up and, 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 and I put a lot on him to try to, you know, with, with that, on trying to find ways to, to, to get him to score because we had some struggles scoring at times. So for this year, what, you know, what I really think is for us to, to be successful offensively, I think, and as simple as this sounds, like we can't be turning the ball over. Like we, we just, we're just not in a position to be giving teams extra possessions. We need the shots. I think we're a good shooting team. Um, um, I think we can be a really good three-point shooting team, but we just can't be turning the ball over. We can't be throwing it all over the place. Um, I, I would also say for us, like a guy like Devo Coleman needs to take a big step. You know, he was a good, really good three-point shooter as a freshman, but I think he's done other parts of his game this year. Um, you know, they had last year, and he's elevated his score in different things. Uh, uh, Wes and Mark last year had the, had the foul sheet where we were last in fouls drawn the and infamous made, ACC yeah, index card. Wait, so so my new thing now is 1014. Like everyone's saying 1014. 1014 is a hand check rule. I'm gonna be yelling all year long 1014 <laughs> that we need to be going to the free throw line. So I'm thinking about you know how I put the cards up for my defensive assignments? <laughs> One might be 1014. You guys might think it is defense, but it's really for the record. 1014. Two hands foul. He can't be last anymore in that area. Hey, you know what? I've you been know. doing that for 25 years, and I know the league office is like, oh my gosh. Hey, listen, I'm not I making up the, the numbers. Hey, I call the up. league office how many times saying, hey, we're on this card. We're last. That can't be happening. We drive the ball. Yeah. I keep telling 10 
N14. <laughs> N14. I know there are some refereeing officials around here. We'll have to ask them if that's. Oh, I've told allowed. Percy already. Yeah. Man. He's, the guy. He's the one. You mentioned the infamous ACC index card, and all of a sudden you see these cold yeah, sweats yeah, from yeah, the executives yeah. in the corners up there from Greensboro. Coach, how about the international guys you got? What have you seen from we, them? You know what? We've got some good international guys. Um, uh, we've got we, we signed two kids, one from Latvia, one from Canada. We signed them late, so they weren't here during the summer. Mm -hmm. um, the, the kid from Latvia, his dad's a great coach overseas, and he's a great shooter. The kid's a great shooter, um, and, and he, his name is Fred's. That's his, he's from Fred's, not Fred, Fred's yeah. with a plural with an S. Uh -huh. um, and so, um, uh, but, but he can really shoot. The issue is he's, a, he's physically not ready, just, he, you know, like he said when he came here, he's never lifted a weight, and he's mm. just physically not strong enough yeah. defensively. Now, can he, can he help us in spots where we can shoot the ball? Maybe we can find him where he can get better in the zone, you know, but if we're man-to-man, -man, he's not ready yet to, to be if we're playing man-to-man because -man, teams would just expose him. He's got to get stronger. The other kid from Canada, we got Kirill, 7 feet, 245. We signed him late in August, was playing AAU basketball. We beat out some really good schools for him. He's got a chance to be really good. His best basketball is going to be when he's a sophomore, but he's really good in the stuff that we play. You know, we kind of play the Princeton offense, you know, through the elbow. He can really pass, and he fits with what we do. So both guys are good players. And you know what? Look, even with the NIL and everything, at a place like Georgia Tech, you still got It's still about development. I mean, we're not. We might not be able to do certain things. We still got to get good players when they're young and develop them and getting better. Um, and, and that's still kind of who we are at Georgia Tech. We can't lose sight of that. You mentioned with Fred some some style changes that can kind of hide maybe a little bit of, yeah. of uh, you know him being a little thinner. What else style change wise do you expect for this group? Again, you you have a different piece when Mike DeVoe's not in. Yeah. You know, I really felt for this this year and this offseason, I spent all the time, we, we really spent a lot of time in the weight room. So uh, the emphasis, and look, everyone talks about the weight room, weight room, but we've made that a, just like point A, point one, like everything, you know, not only just emphasizing, but reinforcing it all the time because we had to get stronger. And, and, you know, I look at like a team like a Virginia Tech or Virginia just defensively, you know, I mean, I mean, just the, you know, we got to be able to. We got to be tougher in, the, in those areas. Like those two teams, Virginia Tech wins the ACC championship. I thought they had a really good toughness about them. Um, so we've got to be tougher, and I really think that starts with the weight room. And we really have made that an emphasis from this day the season ended to the spring, summer to this point. So I really think some of our things that I'm hoping it's going to show into the physicality of how we play, right. and um, and we can be with our chest and guard with our chest and stay off of the off of the you know the famous index card and stay off of ten one four, and and but I want our guys to be driving the ball so we get the ten one four. You, I'm telling you, you do our games, I'll be yelling ten. I, look, <laughs> I don't curse. <laughs> I don't curse. I don't use any foul language. I don't let anyone in our program use yeah. foul language. But so the nearest thing I can curse to an official will be 10 It's 10 one four. Yeah. That's the yeah. with the rule book. You're not printing up 10 one four t-shirts. Uh -huh. yeah. oh, I'm going to be it's highly yeah, disappointed. They're going to be confused. I mean, they're like, I thought it was 404 yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, no, exactly. 10 one four. Yeah, so yeah. Coach yeah. Pastor, we I, always enjoy it. One more they, thing, though, yeah. I want to yeah. add. When the vote comes out, if I see that Virginia's gotten one number one vote. It's me. I'll be the first to admit. I'll be the first to admit. Oh, Coach Pastor, thanks so much for the time. We always appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thanks for everything. Thank you.